Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. We have a new backdrop. We have a new backdrop. We have a new camera coming up soon, too. Which I have yet to play with. If I'm really washed out right now, I'm really sorry. I think it's the black background, and then also me wearing black, and then my soft box lighting. I don't really know. Am I really washed out? I hope I'm not really washed out, and I hope that I am in focus. Anyways, if I am washed out, we're just gonna have to deal because I need to film this. I feel like I look like a floating chest. So how do you know the mark of Polo when I get my floating chest kit, you know? Okay, uh, I don't know. I tried to make some adjustments to the camera today because my background is black and I don't know. I don't know how this is looking. I hope I'm not too washed out. I mean, it's not a makeup video, so I think we'll be fine. Um, I'm hot. <laughs> I'm hot from running around and trying to get all this stuff together. Also, the hair is back. I never have the hair back, but you know what? Some days we just don't have great days. I'm a real person behind a screen. Shit happens, you know? Okay, so this collaboration is with April Monique here on YouTube. Uh, she is also a smaller content creator in the beauty space and we've been in touch now, I feel like for a couple months and she reached out to me a couple weeks ago asking me if I wanted to do this as a collaboration with her and I'm always up to do collaborations with everybody because I feel like it builds such a sense of community. And so please do go check out her channel here is a photo of the lovely April. She does a lot of different content. I know she's starting to do like a uh, project pen, I think, um, sometime this year, I think. I know she did a video on it, but she does all sorts of content. She has a lot of like Marshalls and like TJ Maxx type hauls where she finds like bargain makeup and skincare and all that kind of stuff. And so she asked me to do this collab with her to kind of talk about our yearly favorites for the year of 2020. I know, I know we're in 2021 now, so why are we delving into the past? Literally, I feel like I was just in chaos and I was behind, so shit just happened, you know? So we're doing some 2020 stuff still. It'll probably fizzle out <laughs> maybe within the next week or so, I hope. If you're over here from April's channel, thank you so much for coming by. I do hope that you consider subscribing. And if you don't, that's totally okay. But thank you so much for joining me for this video today. Um, and be sure if you're, you know, a subscriber of mine, do go check out April's channel. And, you know, I, I think she's a really enjoyable personality. I really, really love her. She's such a great person. And I think if you enjoy my content, you would enjoy her as well. Um, you know, she's just another real person behind the screen. I love watching people where I have like a real connection with them in that sense of there's no like, I mean like, okay, fine. We're getting into the whole studio setup thing here. But I mean like, you know, it's not like professional. I'm still sitting here being real with you guys. Let's just be real about that, you know. Um, so I'm going to talk about... Uh, some favorites from 2021 and I'm realizing now that I went through my favorites all of my favorites are either makeup or hair stuff or nail stuff I didn't pick anything for skincare maybe you know what I don't see the thing is I don't like to talk about like skincare too much because it's also very subjective also my skincare hasn't changed a whole lot this year from like the past year so I don't know like that I would really have anything to expand on I don't think I like I bought some new stuff this year but I haven't really like you know delved into it a lot so oh, I'm dropping stuff because there's stuff everywhere on my desk right now and it's not even the stuff that I'm sharing with you I actually have a box on the floor that I'm gonna pull up and then we're gonna go through all of the items hopefully you can't see I'm a little mirror so if you're interested to see what my picks are please stay tuned. Okay, and so I do have 20 picks, I think, around that. I don't know. Um, I hope. Some are kind of like bulked into a category together. Um, yeah, I think I have 20 though, but we'll see. Like, I'll let you guys know as we go. Um, so also, I just want to know, I know I have a new background. I do have a new camera that I'm trying to set up. I'm still trying to play with it. I don't want to do too many changes all at once because I don't know how it's going to work. So slow baby steps slow slow little baby steps we're getting there we're getting there soon okay i'm gonna pull up my box and let me show you what's in it 
So I have some things from Amazon, I have some things from Sephora, I have some things from Indie, I have some things from Drugstore. We've got a vast variety of stuff. I don't really know where I want to begin. Um, let's start with like the Amazon thing because there's only one. So I'll kind of get the boring stuff out of the way. I think I have two like tools. Um, so we'll go through those. And one of them's kind of in a category, but I couldn't find the other one. So we're just gonna have to bear. But the first is this, this little um, set here. This is the Beaky. Um, it's like a beauty sponge um, little set. You get five. You get five in the little pack. They look like this. They just look like beauty blenders. Like no different. That's my last one in there. So I may have to dip into my beauty budget at some point this year to replace because I'm I currently just pulled one out. So I'm using it. These work just as great as beauty blender and these cost I believe they were $13 Canadian so I would think they're about like seven no eight nine dollars US for five sponges that's really really good also I know there's like the pawpaw ones that everyone talks about I haven't tried those yet so let me know if I should try those let me know if you've tried both and if these are worth it or those are worth it maybe there's something I'll give a shot so that's the first one the next one, sticking with the whole theme of tools, is BK Beauty brushes. Now there's two in particular that I absolutely, absolutely love. The first one being the BK 101 foundation brush. Now, mine's dirty, don't judge me. I need to wash my face brushes, like I really need to. Um, but this is what it looks like. The other one that I love is the BK 207, which is the pencil brush. I love that for smudging underneath the lower lash line. It is so good, I just can't, find it so I can't oh wait is that it ah there it is she popped right up she's like here I am here I am don't forget to show me um I love love these two brushes probably two of my favorites from BK Beauty um I think I have five or six I don't know I do need to try more um so hopefully this year maybe maybe I'll be delving into other brush brands let me know what do you love? What are we going to next? Let's do a perfume because I have perfume too. I was on the hunt for a good cruelty free perfume this year because a lot of the higher end luxury brands are not cruelty free. The, that being said, <laughs> you're also investing into brands. So a lot of these brands are very expensive. And so the one that I discovered was Nest New York. Oh my God, the bottle is so cute. I love like that it has like that kind of floral background in the back oh my god it's so good this is the wild poppy by nest new york and i don't know if you can tell but i've already used up like a third of it and i'm gonna be so sad but i will replace this like i will replace this i don't care if i have to use my entire beauty budget to replace this i will replace this because that's how good it is um but I have a couple other perfumes in my collection, so I think I'm gonna start using those so that I can like save this for spring and summer because it's such a beautiful kind of sweet floral scent. I really, really love it. I think the main notes are geranium. I don't have the package for it right now, so maybe I'll try and insert here or I'll probably try to link um, the products down below in my description bar so that you can go and look at them for yourself. Let's see what else. Let's dig into some indie nail polish because nail polish has kind of been a, a thing of the past. I used to be so obsessed with nail polishes. You can ask anyone in my real life. I had like probably over, I probably had upwards of 300 nail polishes at one point in my life. Um, yeah, I remember when my grandma made me get rid of them. So <laughs> yeah, that was quite the declutter. This first one, I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell. This is by ILNP but it's a multi-chrome polish. This one kind of has like a black to red to green, and even in the light you can see kind of blue and gold like shift. It's beautiful, it's what I'm wearing on my nails right now. Um, if you guys watch like my blush collection video, then you saw it, I did get some compliments on my nail polish, so that's what it is, it's so beautiful. Uh, that's the brand ILNP. I think it stands for I Love Nail Polish. I'm just guessing, but I'm pretty sure. Um, I did pick up three shades from them, but that's my favorite so far. 
The other brand uh, for indie nail polish that I discovered this year is Olive Ave Polish, and this is one of their fall collection shades in the shade Hayride. It's such a beautiful kind of yellowy orange mustard shade. I don't know. It's it's a really different shade. I wouldn't say it's quite like a mustard mustard, but it's also kind of like, I don't know, it's different. I really like this one. These last, the ILMP in this last, I don't know if it's my base coat that I use though, because I do use the Essence um, base coat. It's like the gel coat, but you don't really need the gel LED lamps or whatever. So I don't know if it's that or I don't know if it's a combination, but they're so good. Um, okay, so let's stick with makeup. Maybe I'll do some of like the more boring-ish products before we get into, I think before we get into anything else. Um, I picked one brow product, which is my NYX Tinted Mascara. I love this stuff. This is probably, for the price that it is, the best that I've tried so far. I really do like a few other ones that I've tried this year, but hands down, this is my favorite. This one is a repurchase because I had broken one. I don't know if I bought this this year. I think I did. Anyways, it's so good. I love this. Highly recommend you guys go out and try this if you're looking for an affordable uh, brow mascara. This is really, really good. Um, and they do come tinted. I think they possibly have a clear one. I'm not 100% sure. The next thing is my Urban Decay 24-7 Waterline Pencil. This is not their 24-7 Glide On. It's specifically called Waterline Pencil, and it only comes in one shade, and that's the shade Legend. And this is the only one that I can use that will actually stay in my waterline. Mainly, I just use it for tight lining, but hands down, one of my faves. You know what's funny is I'm realizing this whole time that I've been sitting here, I don't have mascara on. <laughs> So we're going to put some mascara on and I guess we'll put on the one that's in my favorites here. This is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise um, or Voluminous Lash Paradise in the waterproof version. I don't know how I forgot to put mascara on. I love this. The only sad part is I bought this before I went cruelty free and L'Oreal is not cruelty free which is unfair. Come on L'Oreal. You got this. You guys are big enough. You're big enough that you make some money that you don't need to, you know, be testing on furry friends. So stop that. Stop it. I didn't even tight line today. What am I? What am I doing? I think it's just because I'm trying to film what I can because my friend's going live and I really want to catch her live. Okay, so there it's on. I don't know if you can really tell from the distance. That we're at or if that made a, dif a difference to you but I love this mascara it's so good um, again affordable because it's at the drugstore continuing with some affordable products I have my favorite foundation of 2020 the elf flawless finish you guys already know <laughs> how much I've used this I've used the crap out of this I can't really see though how much I've used it though it doesn't show me anything um, and I always have it sitting up, so I don't know if the color of the inside of the bottle is just going to stay stained that way, but this is like, what, $8 or something? It's so good, you guys. It's so good, and you can always get it on sale in combination with this. I love, I love this e.l.f. matte blotting powder. You guys already know. I've talked about this in every single video, I swear. Look at that pen. Look at it. Do you see that? I don't know if you can tell. That's when you know it's a good powder. I... Like, I don't even powder very often, so when I've hit pan on a powder, you know it's a good powder. I love this. I only set my under eyes usually with this because I don't like to set my whole face. Although I will say lately I've been kind of loving not setting my under eyes because then I don't get that weird, creepy feeling. I did do it today. I'm noticing my eyes are aging. They're getting more wrinkly, and that's just going to happen, and it's okay. I'm almost 32. That's just life, you know? So, again, around $6, you can get this on sale such a great deal. What else are we going to talk about? I'm trying to go in like kind of a good order, but I don't really know. I'm going to save some fun stuff for, for in a little bit. Um, the next two are two separate products, but I'll show you them at the same time because they kind of both do the same thing performance wise. Um, the first is this Visanti VO2. It's their color correcting concealer in the shade I think the shade is called VO2. It is an orange peachy corrector. It kind of 
basically just diminishes any darkness you have under your eyes. So any blue toned or darkness, like, you know, just dark spots and stuff, you can really correct with this. And when you blend it out, it's so natural that it's so light that you can really just put your foundation, whether it's sheer coverage or full coverage over top, and it's not going to show through. I love this dot. Another one that performs similar, but I kind of even like better for days where I'm not wearing makeup, but I just want to color correct. This Becca product, this is their under eye brightening corrector, guys. I have like the biggest dip in here. You can't even tell, I think. I'm going to hit pan on this probably at no time. Um, I can see myself using the rest of this up this year and I probably will repurchase it because I think that I can keep both of these in my collection at all times because they both serve similar like purposes but I can use them for two different things like this is great for me to use on like an everyday basis whereas this one is great to use every day but also for when I want more of a you know flawless base like this is when I want like a more natural base so I would keep both in my collection for that reason. Okay, so the next is gonna be um, a blush, a bronzer, and a highlight. Okay, so I don't know how much footage cut off because it stopped recording at some point, but this is the uh, Fenty Cheeks Out Bronzer, Cream Bronzer, sorry, in Macchiato. Perfect shade for me in the winter time. It did not work for me in the summer. So this was a product that I didn't love so much in the beginning. I love the formula, not the shade. And now the shade works for me, but I will have to pick up a darker one sometime this year so that I can use it for the summertime because I tend to get dark really, really quick. It's just, you know, that's just how my, my skin tone works. It just wants to tan. Um, next is my favorite blush of the year. I bought this in summer. This is by Ofra and Samantha March, and it is their um, collaboration where they did the blush duo in Chiclet. This is what made me discover my love for glowy blushes this year. So before this, the only glowy blushes I ever used were like the Milani Luminoso, and I think that was it. Um, and I think I had one by MAC, I, well, I still have it, the MAC Mineralize um, Blush in Super Duper Natural. Those were the only two I had, but this one, oh, it just started my love for glowy blushes, and then I went ahead and bought the Melt, um, you know, that bee one, the queen bee. <laughs> I know a lot of people were saying it didn't work on their skin tone and it, they're too fair for it or whatever, but I know Molly O'Hara said that it worked perfectly on her, I think, because um, I know the Pat McGrath one did, and this one's definitely lighter than the Pat McGrath, but it's so beautiful. I love this. I highly recommend this one, um, if you can afford it, though, because I think the price point was a little bit higher. It's like around the $55 range. I think I have a lot of Natasha Denona favorites. <laughs> the next is this little guy here. This, this is the Natasha Denona Chromium Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Scarab. This is kind of like one of the first products I bought that made me discover my love of multi-chromes. It is so pretty. I'm going to see if I can swatch it for you guys. I know people were saying these were really overpriced and I did pick up the Danessa Myricks ones too, but I have not tried those yet, but I've used this handful of times. I don't know how well the shift is going to pick up due to the lighting, but basically it goes from like a green to a blue to kind of a goldy shift. It's so pretty. It's really beautiful. I'm just going to leave that on my hand so I can admire it for the rest of this video. <laughs> okay, next is some higher end luxury items, and those are my Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. And look, they're sticking together. Remember the magnets? Remember the magnets for my video? <laughs> Still can't get enough of that. Um, I have three shades I have Velvet Jazz, which is kind of a deep red. I have. Velvet Fawn. This is the one that broke, but they did send me a replacement. It's just kind of a nude shade. I just kept this because I don't, I don't know. I don't want to throw it away, but I also don't want to open my new one. And then this is a Velvet Blush. It's such a beautiful shade. I really love this one. These are really pricey, but I would say out of like the like luxury stuff I'm able to try, these were well worth the experience. I loved it. The shipping is incredible. The customer service is incredible. Kudos to Lisa Eldridge, the formula. She nailed it. She nailed it. Okay, moving into eyeshadow. I think we're moving into eyeshadow now. We are. Should I do eyeshadow or should I do 
Let me do the two items that are on the floor first, which are hair. This was the year that so many people were discovering the Dyson, buying the Dyson, all that jazz with the Dyson. Look, your girl cannot afford that, okay? We're gonna be real here. This thing is heavy, but it does the job and it works, so I use it. And it is the Revlon, um, sorry, mine's got hair sticking out of it because I did use it. The Revlon, Revlon One Step, um, whatever this is called, you know, the brush. I have a video on this. I will link it in the cards above where I do kind of a demo and a review on it. Absolutely love this. It works for me, but I do also have like thick, silky, coarse, straight hair. Um, that's what my hair is like. So it works for me. It gets rid of the frizz. I can use it. The next item is another favorite hair product. You guys probably already would have guessed this one. My chopstick curler. I love this because it gives me big hair. And you guys know, you know, it looks like a magic wand, doesn't it, with my new background. Um, but you know how much your girl has been loving the big giant curls with this beautiful multi-chrome hair curl. What? It's a multi-chrome hair curler. Come on. Um, no, but I've seriously been loving the crap out of this. I've used it a ton. Um, and I know someone else, I think Heather Coyne bought this too. Um, but I love it. It's so good. It gives me big hair. It makes me feel like a badass, you know, just like I love it. It makes me feel extra confident. I love my hair like that. Uh, probably more than I like it straight. So yeah, continuing with the whole multi-chrome theme, because I'm going to end this video being a basic bitch. Um, that's just what we're going to do. One of my biggest and most fun discoveries of this year, Davina. I didn't include her mats because I haven't tried them yet, but guys, the Star Chasers, you know. If you haven't seen my Star Chasers video, I'll link it in the cards. Go check it out, but oh, I love these. They're so beautiful. They're so, so pretty. On top of that, I have my Aurora Flares, like the shifty multi-chrome. They're so beautiful and these feel like silk when you swatch them. They're just oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Australis is probably one of my favorite shades from this um, collection. And then I, I got these, by the way, these palettes off of Amazon. <laughs> really love these too. Um, and then I have their Galaxy Dust Shifters, oh, which are beautiful. I also have highlighters and I have... Um, their matte shadows. I have one of their matte bundles, which I'm going to do a video on soon. So if you want to see that, let me know in the comments down below if you want to see another Divina video because I did just do the Star Chasers one recently. But if you want to know more about their matte eyeshadows, because the only other person that I know that's done a review on Coven's Curse, um, which is the kind of black, red, and gray bundle is Yachty. Um, so you can check out her video, but let me know if you want to know my thoughts on that and I can definitely do a video. Um, and I can probably show you guys some of these. Um, maybe I'll use like, um, what are those? The uh, Aurora flares. Um, but I can also show you the highlighters in that video as well. So let me know if you want to see that. And I can definitely do that for you guys. Cause you know, I love Davina and I'm here to play with makeup and I will do it. If you want it, if you want it, you got it. The next two palettes are very basic, very, very basic, but two of my favorites and two of my favorites that I bought around at the same time, I want to say. The first being this Artist Couture Supreme Nude. How, how perfect is this with my whole aesthetic right now? The gold earrings, the black turtleneck, the black background with the fairy lights. We're here to play. We're here to play. Um, so beautiful, you guys. It's basic, but it's beautiful. It's so pretty. Some of these shades are just magical. I have a tutorial on my IGTV that I did with this around Diwali. Um, I love it. I don't even know, like, the shadows blend well, and they're just perfect. I love it. Um, it's definitely the one palette I think I lusted after this whole year besides, like, Metropolis. Um, but this one I couldn't find. Metropolis was a different story because I just couldn't afford it. <laughs> this one, I couldn't find it anywhere. It was sold out everywhere. And the moment I realized that one of the stores or the malls near my work had it, snatched it. I snatched it and I was able to get Karen's boyfriend to get her one too. So now we both have Supreme Nudes because we're supreme. We're going to reign supreme. Anyways, 
Last but not least, you guys probably guessed it, but it's going to be the Natasha Denona Glam palette. Now, I did pick up a bunch of her other palettes, but haven't played with them yet. <laughs> I should. Guys, this palette, I almost didn't buy it because I was like, oh, those tones are not going to look good on my warm skin. I was just like, nope. They're so beautiful. And they're all not very cool tones. Some of them are really warm, too. It's so pretty. I absolutely love this palette. I love it. I've used it a couple times now. I don't want to, I almost dropped it. I don't want to drop it. It's so beautiful. Her formula literally, like they say, blends itself out. So there's not a lot of work you need to do with it. I love the fact that it's also got the holes on the back. So if you want to pop them out and use them as singles, you can do that too. Um, and I think that's absolutely amazing. Is that my last product? Hang on, I gotta feel around my box. Yep, no, I think that's the last one, you guys. How many do we have then? One, two. I counted the Vina as one, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, 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 forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-